Hi, I wanted to share this uh, book with you. Um, I have been making uh, hardcover books and I wanted to try my hand at a soft cover or a fabric um, book. So I have this one here and it's several uh, just looks like you know it's layered I guess if you know if you would say can't even think of what to say it's like I'm stage I have stage fright and I'm I'm not even in front of the camera it's just my hands and the book but um, okay so anyway to continue it's got a fabric um, spine and uh, it is all ruffled and scrunched up and then I have a little bow here with a button cute button and this uh, sorry silk ribbon just kinda comes over to this side and it can be removed and then of course we have the back so okay so let's go inside and I'm gonna try to be quick it looks like I only have nine minutes left to record on here so, um, okay, so this right here is actually the first flap, and it has some sorry silk, some lace, some fabric, more fabric, some fabric, some cotton, lace trim, some bling, more sorry silk, and then a little uh, plaque, wooden plaque that says friends. So this opens up. I was going to attach it here, but I wanted to leave this. This is part of the actual cover. Um, just to kind of reinforce everything, but this is the, um, it's a vintage handkerchief, uh, linen, and um, I used it here. You can attach a photo or anything uh, you want here. I actually left most of this book empty and just plain because I was thinking whoever, um, whoever wants it can fill it up with their own goodies as opposed to me adding tags and ephemera and pictures of people um, that you don't know. Um, of course I love adding that kind of stuff. You know like the Tim Holtz relatives and all that kind of stuff. I love adding those cards but this book didn't need those cards. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so anyway this flaps open. You can also put maybe a little bit of ephemera. You could always um, staple a photo or a quote or a, you know something that you like here so it's useful um, here is um, the book the cover of the book so it's a hard cover it has some really gorgeous um, cotton um, lace trim here that I kinda scrunched up and made into a ruffle it's been sewn on it's got this button and then it's got a little bit of the sari silk here in a little bunch. It looks like a little nest, kind of fitting for the birds, and it matches the whole theme. So I thought that should go in there. So it opens up, and this is the first signature. This is um, an Edith Holden uh, book page, uh, part of the book page, just like this right here. So it's the original image that I just cut, and I sewed on this, but then I also sewed a piece here and added some sari silk kind of scrunched it up and made a little ribbon there so here's the other side of it you can also like I said attach some ephemera you know you can either staple it you could glue it do whatever you want there and then the actual pages of this book this is watercolored paper this is a hundred and forty pound paper so I thought this was nice you can watercolor you can paint you can do calligraphy you can use markers sharpies and of course 140 pound paper it's not going to bleed over to the other side so you can do so much stuff with this paper here is some tea stained ledger paper here is some mixed media paper that is all, that is also 140 pound here is just a little bit of the sheet music uh, vintage paper that I wanted to add here. And this is the middle of the signature where I added a little um, saltwater pearl. Um, for, not saltwater, it's freshwater pearl. I think that's what it said on my package. Um, but anyway, it's a little pearl that I attached here so it goes in the middle of your signature. Here's the mixed media paper with a little collage of some polka dot paper. 
ledger paper, the watercolor paper, the other side of the canvas where you can attach so many things. Um, here's the next signature. This this has some real pretty cardstock with different words on it. Sparkle, today, beautiful. This is epic, grateful heart. Just some real pretty cardstock that I thought was fitting for this book. And then some mixed media paper. Tea stained paper for journaling or for anything you want there. Here's a little bit of the music page with a ruffle of more of that sorry um, silk ribbon. Watercolor paper. Here's all this watercolor paper. An empty canvas for you to do whatever you want on here. Here's a little collage. It's got some flowers, a button, and some of the tapestry fabric that I like to use. So I attach some of this here. Uh, tea stained paper, mixed media paper. Here's the cardstock on the other side. Here's more cardstock and more, sorry, silk. It's like a beautiful, like lemon yellow or a lemon buttercup. I just love this color. Um, some ledger paper, some more watercolor paper, uh, mixed media paper. So it's all right here. Um, the watercolor ledger paper and the other side of that cardstock. Here is the Sorry Silk ribbon where it attaches over. Um, so like I said, you can actually remove it if you want. You can leave it on here because it's cute or you can use it, incorporate it in uh, some of the other pages if you decide to do something here. Um, here is a fabric collage with a button. Um, some cardstock from Tim Holtz. Here is a book page from the Edith Holden book. Uh, mixed media paper, tea stained paper, more watercolor paper. Here's another little flat um, pearl that goes right here so you can either have it hanging down here or move it up to the top and let it hang up there. So either way. Here's a nice big button. I just love this button. I think it's gorgeous. With some more Sorry Silk um, ribbon and it's been sewn on to this watercolor paper so it's nice and sturdy. Some tea stained paper, the mixed media, um, the Judith Holden. Edith! I was, I was thinking June so I said Judith. But it's Edith Holden uh, book page, the cardstock, and more of this fabric collage back here. And instead of making a pocket for this library card, I decided to just punch a hole in it and um, attach it up here to this Sari Silk ribbon trim that I have with one of these um, garment pins. I just think it's so cute. So it's all been sewn and layered. You'll see fabrics and canvas all through here. Some little strings from all the sewing that I did. And here is the back. And like I said, this is the book. Um, I just think it's so cute. It's got a Shakespeare quote on here that Edith Holden wrote about in the book and then of course did these beautiful bird illustrations. So I just think this is just so cute and it reminds me of friends, um, family, I mean just so much stuff. So like I said, this book is actually let me see what size it is. Hold on. Oh, I think I have one minute. Ah. Um. So it is um, maybe six and a quarter inches or six, six inches, six and a quarter inches by, if you go from the very top of that lace to here, it is seven and three quarters. So that's how... Um, tall it is and then it's six and a quarter this way. So anyway I will list this in my Etsy shop so if anyone is interested it will be there and if you have any questions uh, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!